call it 20 degrees and getting closer to the weatherman's prediction of 21 degrees, which is worrying me because it's taken all day to get here. And believe me, you know, just after 10 o'clock in the morning, should have been there already. You know, my 24 is the prediction today. Uh, cloudy, gloomy, unnicey, rainy, all of that kind of stuff. Barbara's prediction, 23 and ditto, it is going to be one of those kind of days. So if you are out and about on the roads today, turn your lights on, make it click, and drive to the conditions. Oh, also, if you're in this region, please, please, keep an eye out for a bit of surface flooding. You never know. Uh, it's been, you know, the roads really dry, land's really dry, plenty of water. It's not going to soak into the ground too quickly. It really isn't. Uh, so let me do this. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and for those of you that are uh, watching this right now on Facebook Live, I've got to welcome you along. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, if you're going to be watching it a little later on, you know, on YouTube, yep, yeah, uh, you know what to do, right? Yep, yeah, sub, thumb, bell, bingo, that's the one. Uh, gives you notifications, all that sort of stuff when we uh, do stuff like this and we do it often. We really, really do. Uh, in fact, We've been trying to do this very, very often here at Galaxy. We really, really have. And it's uh, nice to be able to get this underway because uh, we've been trying to catch up with a good friend of ours, Chris Andreas, here at Galaxy. Well, ah, it's been a couple of weeks, actually. We've been trying to get this done. Uh, coming out of British Columbia, good morning, Chris. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, first of all, better turn you up so that everybody can hear you. Uh, <laughs> Pleasure to have you along, my friend, and uh, believe me, it, good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you. We've been trying to get this one done for a little while now, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Technical uh, difficulties all the way around. Yeah, believe me, uh, well, you can blame it on me sometime, because uh, it was my fault there for a little while, uh, but not all the time. i uh, got to admit that. Now, uh, Chris, I'm absolutely loving what I'm seeing in the background there. Is that a ward of yours? Yep, that's it. That's the one. Love that. Absolutely love, love, love that. And believe me, uh, I'd be very, very interested in uh, one and showing it off as much as possible if I actually won one as well. So uh, i got to congratulate you. That, Thank you. That is absolutely fantastic. Uh, speaking Thank of you. awards, we're going to talk about awards very, very shortly. But first of all, folks, if you haven't heard of Chris Andreas by now, uh, Check this out. Here's Jump Rabbit at Galaxy. Love this, Chris. <clears throat> yeah, thanks. Yeah, no, um, <laughs> thanks for that lockdown. We had uh, uh, an entire year to, uh, the nickel slots. to I, I, you know, to make a, a new, I think I, I got like seven roll. tracks. Like we got like, 13 track album it's just uh it's done we're just mixing the, the last five songs right now but uh what i'll probably do is release them all as singles since you know i don't think uh um i'm, I'm not i'm not sure when i'm going to be going out and playing live again anytime soon here, yeah so. believe me we here's a strange one for you just a couple of days ago uh yeah. we've we've well for about a year we've been planning on getting a couple of bands into new zealand getting ready to do shows with these guys <laughs> <laughs> including uh, now we're going to be joined with Steve Lynch, former guitarist of Autograph. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, just as we get everything in place and say, right, we're going to start putting things in stone, we'll get our people underway, we'll start looking at promotions, getting bookings done, yada, 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 all the logistics. Yep. Uh, we get a couple of more cases here and, well, we get all shut down again, which basically means all the venues, everything like that, now... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's brutal. I mean, it's, you know, I was supposed to open up for Keith Urban this year. Like last summer, I was going to open up for Keith Urban. Like that would have been like a, you know, would have been a cool show to do. But, you know, it will get back to it. I, I'm fully 100%. You guys are a great example that it can be done. You know what I mean? So, so we'll be getting back to it for sure. Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. This, I don't feel, is going to be forever. 
No. Even though it does feel like it right now, I got to admit, you know, I'm like a spoiled kid at Christmas time. I want to get it done. You know what I mean? Get in there. Here, believe me, there's like, yeah, I, and I'm and I'm dealing with like guys in my band that are just going nuts, right? Because like right now we can't even rehearse. So I, it's like uh, I, I get that. I, I really get that. And believe me, um, I hear this all the time, bro. I really, really do. It's it's just one of these things. Circumstance right now. I hate it, I do, but yeah. we've got to take it on the chin and... Um, now, you know when you guys are keeping the sh you're keeping stuff moving, you got the radio show happening, you're still promoting, you're still helping out other ar independent artists and sign people al alike, and uh, yeah, man, we're all just doing what we can do to get through this as best we can. Exactly, our mind. exactly, and you know something? Um, I get some wonderful t-shirts from people as well. Uh, you, that's the right thing. You wear that out in the streets and you're going to be beating the ladies off. Oh, believe me, it's happened. It's happened. <laughs> you oh. want it to be the reverse, though. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, the thing is, I've got my wife out there with the umbrella, you know, she, like a swordsman, yeah. she's really good at it, too. <laughs> she is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Right, you're right, here we go, it's 107 FM, 19 after 10 o'clock, it is 20 degrees downtown. Uh, sorry about that folks, believe me, that can't be nice when Barbara's waving at you very prettily and then it comes over to me. Yeah. <laughs> that could be frightening in a lot of ways, it really, really could. Uh, joined today, coming out of British Columbia, and I'm absolutely elated to be joined by good friend of Galaxies, Chris Andreas. And uh, just opened up the show here with Jump Rabbit. Chris, refresh our audio audience's memory. What is Jump Rabbit about? And believe me, do you do it often? Um, well, really what it is, is it's, uh, you know, I keep it, I try to keep my songs kind of um, uh, open to interpretation, but, you know, I think it's it's about uh, getting through dark times, man, and, uh, and uh, you know, we definitely, um, we're getting through some right now. So if anything, it's just about uh, being aware of your situation, um, you know, uh, just, you know, making sure that, uh, you know, you're checking on yourself. You know, I think that's what we don't do enough of, uh, especially during this time, right? Exactly. And our friends, you know, you don't want to see people, you know, uh, uh, losing their minds, you know, and, and, and that's, that can happen here. Absolutely, and I fully understand that, my friend. I really, really do. I, I know that when we get over there, we're supposed to go Sasquatch hunting. Now, I kind of figure that this might be a little bit in our favour, this COVID thing, because you might be able to see these guys wandering through the bush now with a big-ass mask on. Well, yeah. Well, it's a giveaway. Like, like, I live right in Squatch country, man. You know, remember I sent you that keychain? You did, you did. That's and right from a store that's like five minutes from where I live, so I'm right in Sasquatch country. Yeah, well, you know what, I'll do a bit of glassing. I'm pretty sure that we'll be able to pick up something that's big, hairy, with a big white mask on. That's a yeah. giveaway. I'm sure we can get but one what, that way. Well, when you find them, you can actually use them as hammocks when they discard them. Oh, okay. Fair enough. That's a good idea, too. You might make your bum sneeze a lot, though. Yeah. Especially yeah. if you've got a cold, you never know. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, I've been told that uh, in, in your area you have little uh, forest goblins as well. Um, you know, there's been talk of that, yeah. I've, I've not witnessed one of those. I mean, it depends. We also have, uh, see, one thing that we have on the island that's unique 
is we have psilocybin or magic mushrooms they call them and they grow wild everywhere and so a lot of times if you're ingesting said mushrooms you you can see pretty much whatever your imagination uh, will allow you to see and gold tops or blue meanies <laughs> which which do you prefer uh, i'm a kind what? i'm a kind of a blue meanie kind of guy uh, oh yeah, I like that. Yeah, Yellow Submarine. Yeah, cool. Thank uh, you. Yeah, that, that's a great. See, that's a movie that you want to watch if you're um, ingesting some of these local delicacies. Uh, yeah. Well, believe me, the very first time I ever ingested some of those delicacies, somebody put me in a black room with a black light and turned on uh, John Jean, uh, Jean Michel Jure and Oxygen, if you know what I mean, right. and just yeah. let left me there to uh, permeate. Yeah. It's still yeah. affecting me today. I'm still having flashbacks about that. Well, what he didn't say was okay. in there you had these uh, spiders hanging, you know, hanging off rubber band yeah. kind of things and he had snakes. Oh, and... <laughs> yeah, well... I think one time I might have done, I might have ingested some of those and went on and actually went on and uh, I won't do that again. I promise. Well, I promise you I haven't done it since I Yeah, no, uh, believe me. Uh, I, every time I hear oxygen, it takes me right on back to that. <laughs> yeah, but PSD. Yeah, crazy things you do when you're young. Really. Good God, you know. Uh, but having said that, Chris, I want to talk to you ab about the uh, Rampage Music Awards. Now, you, you're nominated a number of times here, nominated six categories in 2021 Rampage Music Awards, Entertainer of the Year, Best Country Male Artist, Best Country Album, Best Country Duo Group, Chris Andreas Band, Best Country Song, Bright New Day, and Best Country Video, Outlaw. God, you're busy. Yeah, that's awesome. I, um, I, 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 I thought I had only been nominated for one award, and then somebody told me multiple, so I was kind of like, holy smokes, man. Thank you. It's humbling to say the least, that's for sure. You know? Well, yeah. I, I wish you all the best because I think you're going to clean it up. <laughs> just just quietly, you know, I have that faith, I really do. Uh, but believe me, uh, who was the Rampage Music Awards? What, what, what are they absolutely connected to? I believe there's a, um, it, they have some, there's a, a, a small boutique label out there called uh, Epla Records which is basically Apple spelt backwards because the guy that owns the label is a massive Beatles fan. And I think that, um, you know, it's, an, you know, it's, it's a, he used to have, he used to be involved with ISA, which is International Singer Songwriters Association. You know, I mean, I mean, there's just so many, especially during this pandemic, there's just um, um, all kinds of things popping up all over the place because, you know, the internet is where people are getting their entertainment right now, really. You know, you can't go to concerts, you can't go to movies, so you can't go to bars. So, yeah, it's just uh, people are looking inward, so to speak, and, and creating their own content. And, uh, and you know, it, uh, independent guys like me, we it's great for us because it, it shines light on, 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 on what we're trying to do, which is get our music out there as well. Absolutely. And the... Um... The bonus about this, my friend, is that Galaxy doesn't charge any money to uh, get behind an independent artist. We really yes. don't. Yeah. yeah, you guys are doing exact. You guys are doing exactly the the, the, the right way to do it. Um, once you start charging people, you know what does that say? You know what I mean? And and, and being in the biz, I, I'll tell you something. On a daily basis, I deal with those types of situations, right? You know, and I try to you know let people know, you know. It's your body, spread it how you feel, you know, you know, but, you know, and yeah. I, I get that, Chris, but for us here, it's not about the money. Yeah. And it's certainly, well, it does come with a little respect, I've got to be honest with you yes. there. But what it is about is about the artist, the songwriter, the music, and their vision. It's not Perfect. about us in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. We need yeah. to be able to get tomorrow's music out there today yeah. yes. and that's what we attempt to do it's to give respect not to receive respect i've got to be honest with you there my friend uh but moreover it's about the artist and what they do we need yeah. to get that out there and we don't need to charge money for it 
we do very well as it is uh, from our sponsors, from our businesses, from our, everybody like that. Why? I mean, you guys are doing, yeah, I mean, basically what you guys are doing is the same job as any terrestrial radio station, but, you know, you're doing it the right way. So you're using, you know, you're using the sponsors and the ads and the things like that to push your agenda, not a corporate agenda. And your agenda, Grant and Barbara, and I know, and all of you guys, is to get the best quality music out there, irregardless of whether it's they're signed to a major or they're, you know, an independent like myself. Exactly. And we appreciate that. You, you you know, it's it's incredible. Yes. Thank you. Well, Chris, you know something? Uh, the honour is all mine. And, and I and really... All mine back to you. I, I really need to stress this to you. Without people like you writing music, releasing music, and recording brands, making new music, and giving it to us, well, yeah. I wouldn't have a job, bro. Yeah, well, I'll tell you something, you know, and without you doing that, I wouldn't have a job. So, we're, you know, we're, 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 we, you know, we help, you know, it's, it's one big happy musical family. Absolutely, yeah. and we're all copacetic with it. We really, really are. Um, yeah. I, I got to be honest with you, though. Uh, I'm not that good at the stomp. I really, really aren't. So when I get over there at some stage when we go Sasquatch hunting, maybe you'll be able to give me a few dancing tips on, well, you know, especially a brand spanking you, Chris Andrea song, and no and stomp. Tell me all about it, Chris. Um, <clears throat> well, again, it's about uh, existentialism. It's about, um, uh, it's about uh, you know, what happens when this ride is over. Right, we, we we spend our whole life trying to figure it out, and I think by the time we get close to figuring it out, they punch our ticket and the ride's over. That's kind of what it's all about. So if it's anything, it's live in the moment. Live in the moment. Well, you know, I, I got to agree with you there. I've, I've never actually looked at it in that uh, capacity, but you know something? There it is, bright as day. It really, really yeah. is. Here's Chris Andreas yeah. and Unknown Stomp at Galaxy. Talking to a hey, person. Cheryl, I have a date for you. I'll get back to you this afternoon. Nice, Great. nice. Um, Chris, I was talking to a person the other day and I they were talking about ghosts I and said to me, do I, did I believe in ghosts? And I went, oh, hell yeah. I did. They went, uh, so you believe in an afterlife? I, I mean, says, well, you know something. Okay. Um, even though we die and, well, we've never seen I a think... soul, but I have this theory about, because I'm a sound and engineer i'm a sound kind of guy that there's frequencies here yeah. and yes we, energy we don't actually leave the planet maybe we go to another dimension within frequencies that um, our eyes can't pick up the uv and blah 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 and see these people or because of the frequencies we're not getting well, it you know what i mean yeah i mean <clears throat> you know listen we're, we're 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 all energy man so you know once once we leave this kind of vessel that we're in, we just kind of transfer off into something else. I, you know, I mean, but I've never been there myself, so I'm not sure. So yeah. I would say I'm, uh, um, uh, um, I'm uh, on the fence on, on uh, because I haven't been myself. But I, I would exactly. like to think that, you know, that this isn't, uh, you know, just all there is to it. You know, just, exactly that. Exactly that. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, but I, I also think, bro, that if we do do that, we ain't going to do it twice. Yeah. Tim's just said, you guys are going Well, unless deep. you're a Buddhist. <laughs> Tim's commented, Tim Stone, you, you guys are going deep. You guys keep coming back until you, you become we, enlightened. Yeah, Tim, we are deep. We're good bros, we are. So, uh, yeah, believe me, we, we can shoot it like anybody else. <laughs> Can't we, Chris? Thank you, Ron, for watching and speaking to Cheryl. Nice to have you, uh, Tim, as well. You know, um, yeah. Tim Steinreich. Yeah. From Jean, the band The Mighty Jean, One. Jean, yeah. Oh, yeah, Tim. Yes, uh, he thinks we're deep right now. <laughs> we're being deep.
right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, joined live, coming out of British Columbia, by Chris Andreas. Isn't technology fantastic? I can watch you watching me watching you. Watch... Yeah, it just goes on and on and on, doesn't it? I love this stuff. I really, really do. And uh, when it's working. Yeah, when it's working. Absolutely. Yeah. When it's working. You know something, Chris? Uh, we need to do this again. Have you got anything yeah. new coming out in the near future? I'll tell you something right now. For the next five months, I'm going to try and release a new track every month. If not every month, every month and a half. So we'll be spending time together over the spring and into the summer. At least, hopefully, maybe once a month. That's fantastic, Chris. Believe me, my bro, uh, you're going to get sick of me. No, no. <laughs> and here's the other thing, too. You'll get sick of me first. No, 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 no. Not at all. Not at all. Believe me, uh, as we say, you know, everything's copacetic. What goes comes and comes goes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Believe me, bro, it has been an absolute pleasure catching up again. Uh, yes, you guys too. At the yeah. same time, uh, how's Jimmy going? Jim's doing fine. He's probably doing the best out of everybody during this because for him, nothing's really changed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so for him, it's over well, yeah. please, on behalf of all of our staff here, please pass the love on to Jimmy. Happy New Year, Hello. both to you and to Jimmy and everybody in your family. Uh, yeah, I'm back, right back at you. Certainly hoping that uh, we can get over this surreal time right now. Uh, yes. And that you're taking care of yourself. I know Jimmy's taking care of you. I put him in charge. I did. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I know he's oh, doing yeah, no, we're doing great. We're doing fantastic. Um, 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 we had a bit of snow but uh, over the weekend, but... Uh, but yeah, no, yeah, just waiting for the, you know, waiting to get back to normal so we can get back to doing what we do, getting out there and entertaining folks. Absolutely, my friend. And don't forget, we still want you here in New Zealand to play in front of New Zealand audiences. Uh, I plan on coming over there because uh, it's basically, um, I think uh, it's probably similar to the Vancouver Island. Uh, pretty actually. much, pretty much. And believe me, there's places like the Woodland, you will absolutely feel like you're at home. You really, really yeah. will. Uh, yeah. Fjordland's much like, uh, well, it's like the time before the dinosaurs, or even when the dinosaurs are... Excellent. In well, fact, that's, see, that's, that's, I, look at me, I'm a caveman. Yeah, that's, well, that's what... I was going to say, yeah, I know there's still dinosaurs down there. I saw my mother down there the other day. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hang in there, Chris. You're going to get for that one. Oh, believe me, I am going to get so, Yeah. <laughs> Right. Uh, hang in there, Chris. We'll, we'll just okay. move on, but I'll move over to the other studio right now. Here's Company of Strangers, Old Broadway.